A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hi, friends. I'm second guessing my decision not to go on a walk this morning. It's threatening to rain, but the rain time frame keeps shifting. They also keep saying on the weather that it's not supposed to be sunny outside. And there's blue skies out there and sunshine. But it's only 50 degrees, it's cold. So I got ready for the day, straightened my hair. I really need to wash it, it's washing day. And I'm in here doing laundry. But we need to go to Costco, number one. I think I wanna go get more rocks for the chicken area, number two. And Jason has caught the uh, bug for little projects. So I don't really want to interrupt him. <laughs> he's, he's vacuuming out my car. So I'm not gonna interrupt him. He hasn't noticed me, so I'm gonna shut this. So I, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna stop him. Cause he has like this whole little thing going on in his own little head. And he's just gonna keep going. Put you down up here. Nope. Not starting a load. So, anyway, I should go walking. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Maybe if, after we go to Costco, if it's still nice outside, I'll, I'll go walking, and then I'll shower and wash my hair and all that kind of stuff. We'll see how it goes. How are you guys doing today? I am doing good, I'm sleeping better. The days that I go walking, I sleep better at night. It's fantastic. Long day yesterday, but it turned out to be good. Actually, I should call my dad. I should call my dad and tell him the good news about Abby and her surgery. My sister-in-law was asking about it yesterday. Her daughter, my niece, has had the same surgery. She was asking how Abby was recovering and knew she had to have the follow-up surgery as well. So I think Abby's the only one that's done it this way or has needed the rhinoplasty. My brother had it done at the same time and I don't even understand how he did that. So as an adult, nonetheless, I am folding socks if you are curious. All right, well, I'm gonna, oh, it's Friday. My dad's gone all day on Fridays, so I can't talk to him. I should have called him last night. Oh, that's a bummer. I should have called him last night, but. All right, well, let me finish doing socks, and then maybe we'll go to Costco, or we'll, oh, I have one more project. I got the little box of, um, what do you call it, baggies from Target that I'm gonna put into the drawer, but it, the drawer is a mess, so we'll clean that out. And Kaylee, when she saw the box of baggies, I'll show it to you. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the best thing ever. But she was like, can I have one of these when I move out? <laughs> and I'm a sucker for organization and making things easy, and she knows that. So I will be buying her one when she moves out. And she liked all of the stuff I got her the other day. He appreciated all of that, which was super nice. Oh my gosh. So the difference with my kids and their laundry is that Ashley's socks end up all over our house. And so they end up in everyone's loads. Like, cause they always, I toss them in here every time I find a pair of socks. They're literally all over the house. They're in my office, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the playroom, her bedroom, my bathroom, my bedroom, by my couch if Jason like massages her back. They're everywhere. So they end up in every single person's loads of laundry. But my girls, Abby and Kaylee, literally don't take their socks off until they get to their room. So their load of laundry has <laughs> every single sock that they have worn for the week. And that is the difference of my children. Chelsea is the same thing. I can find every single sock she has worn in her laundry basket. So I guess it's an Ashley thing. <laughs> but that's her personality. Anyway, also, underwear. It's getting harder and harder to decipher underwear between four girls who are eking up into the same size. And they all like the same style. So I make sure that I keep their laundry in their own loads because Ashley's underwear is very different from Chelsea's still, but it's very similar to Abby's and not, anyway. So these are my woes this morning. Not, not too difficult of a woe. All right, this is the box of baggies I was telling you guys about. This is the one Kaylee wants. This is what it looks like when they're almost all gone and no one wants to put 
the extras away or the used ones this is just like a used baggie that one's just see they're just all these little snack ones that they use and then they put back which is fantastic but one it does keep your drawer a little bit cleaner I will say but all these little snack ones they just <laughs> they are being okay so here we go also candy canes you could probably throw those away done with those we did pretty good with this box we do have quite a bit of the gallon ones left in there and then a few that fell below apparently oh, that's a silicone one apparently the silicone ones get used not the apparently the snack sized ones get used and reused I can throw it away um, so anyway I'll probably put these all back in the box once I get the new one opened let's see here stack those up all right see works out really good then you take your new box and I'm gonna pop out the holes mildly satisfying until the box breaks through one level so take all these out they're still marked on there as to what kind they are come on come out that's all my garbage back there come on I had them all done there we go and then done so nice and then I'm just gonna take these snack ones and shove them into the snack section right there so they use those ones first I will probably like take out the gallon ones right here and put them in there as well all right only thing left is these little um, tray thingies little paper trays sorry for my dishwasher behind me I use these paper trays in the air fryer so I keep them in this little box so you can just kind of move it around and done meanwhile Jason is doing a job he kind of detests but it's a little satisfying it is satisfying. I'm cutting the Ewok out of our uh... <laughs> what it looks like to have five girls in the house yeah. <laughs> with blonde hair Lots of beautiful long hair yep He's cutting that you can take it apart and it's easier unless you don't want to get tools out uh, no just cut it out it's not any easier all the time to get the tools and all that crap yeah just cut it out okay Turns out the universe wants me to go walking today. <laughs> so, my friend, I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair. My friend texted me two seconds ago. She's like, have you gone walking yet? Let's go, meet me in 15 minutes at the park. <laughs> and I was like, we were gonna get, head out to the car, out to the car, to, yeah, we were literally gonna get in the car and go to Costco. But she can go right now. We can go to Costco anytime, correct? He's not yeah. listening to me. Oh, you are listening. It's a random occasion if he's listening to me. Shut <laughs> It's true. So, we're gonna go. I'll probably come home and pick him up and we'll go to Costco. And then I will just, oh, I hadn't even like, oh, that's gross. Luckily I haven't filmed with you very much. I put dry shampoo, that's gonna be so gross when I go walking. I put dry shampoo in. Gross. All right, while we did not have very much sunshine, um, it was not that cold, and I was able to take my jacket off within two laps of walking, so a mile. And uh, the thing is, I really didn't want to come walking today. I really didn't. I wanted to go to Costco. I wanted to stay dressed nice. I wanted to do my day, take Chelsea to her ortho appointment, and then shower tonight or this afternoon, and just kind of have it lazy when it starts to rain did not want to go for a walk today but I've only walked three times this week and so um come on um I just re really wasn't motivated to go for a walk also ignore my pimple patch they work is it still on they work so good um anyway 
but my when my friend messaged me she goes walking with an, our other friend uh, pretty regularly and so when she is asking me to go I know she really needs to go or she doesn't have that other friend to go with her and I don't I don't find it weird that she doesn't ask me more often I love going her w with her when she can but I've also enjoyed going with Abby and I also enjoy going by myself so that being said the second I got here with her um, and started walking she almost in tears just said I am so grateful that you said yes to going walking and you hadn't already gone because I needed this I need to vent I need to complain I need to get some things off of my chest and I don't have anyone else I can talk to right now my husband is working from home I can't talk on the phone when I'm you know because he's working from home and I was like okay this is why I was meant to come and we just talk and talk and talk and talk and four miles later I realized I still need to go to Costco before I take Chelsea to ortho and before Ashley gets home from school and da 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 and I was like oh we need to stop I need to go <laughs> I probably could have easily done another two miles and not even like thought twice about it and of course you can see there's the sunshine it just kind of peeks through every couple laps um, but um, going with someone and being in that talking mode man you just you just lap and you just get the get the miles in which was super nice um, but I do need to kind of keep going with my day while I would love to go shower clean up I don't want to have to redo everything so I'm just gonna go and get Jason at home he's gonna meet me there um, he's picking up Chelsea at Kaylee and at Jacob's house um, she's kind of done hanging out over there she went to see the chickens after going to lunch with Kaylee so she had early release school today because she's in eighth grade and they're just kind of done so I'm gonna they're all heading home I'll meet Jason we're gonna go to Costco and um, hopefully we have time before her ortho appointment that's why I'm kind of rushed now because I want to get all that done get it taken care of and then I think I'm gonna just chill <laughs> I'll probably find things to do who am I kidding the rain has come I'm glad I went for my walk this morning and I'm sitting in my car watching Roman Atwood and his new channel and I'm waiting for Chelsea she had two more brackets fall off her braces and it's just kind of twirling around the wire I don't think they're gluing them down tight enough because she's literally eating peanut butter sandwiches cucumbers and a few fries freezer fries and like I don't know what else she eats but like she's not eating hard candies she's not eating caramels she's not eating gummy candies anymore like I did accidentally what did I buy no I bought her M&Ms yesterday for I didn't show you guys I got her a little bag of M&Ms and a card a graduation card but I went to get sour gummies and I was like she can't have that that'll make the brackets fall off so she's not having that so they're probably yelling at her for having the brackets fall off and like eating the wrong foods like they did on the phone when I called to make this appointment but it's like <sighs> she's only had these braces on for two months now and the first month she literally couldn't eat anything she couldn't even eat bread so I, she's not eating I don't know they're blaming us and the brackets aren't broken they just have to re-glue them on so I'm not paying for this like I'm not paying extra you gotta you gotta glue them down better so I'm just sitting here waiting for her and then as soon as we drop her off at home Jason and I will go to Costco and now we're gonna have to walk in in the rain but that's okay this is what happens the kids get done with school and then it starts to rain <laughs> we get teased with like good summer weather and then school ends and we have rain very typical and so I've told the girls the first rainy day of summer when it's not super nice outside or cloudy overcast or whatever we're gonna go and see the movie inside out too if that's I think that's what it's called because Ashley is very excited to go and see um, anxiety she is added to the mix of feelings and she's like this is my movie <laughs> oh she's so excited she's like that's my emotion that's that's me so she's very excited Abby wants to go Chelsea wants to go we'll make it a family day go in the early times it's cheaper earlier in the day 
Um, so anyway, <sighs> I'm tired. I could use a nap, but I'm gonna keep going. All right, made it to Costco. We are gonna replace the exact same ones that we just got rid of, gave it to Kaylee, but I'm not gonna get rid of my, I'm not gonna keep the old ones and give her new ones. This is one thing that I get to have new. <laughs> so we're gonna get that set. It's only 20 bucks. And then blueberries, strawberries, bananas so far. Okay, added our normal uh, milk and we are definitely on a Friday cycle now. <laughs> so um, chips rebate is good for these wheat thins for $7.50 eggs and there's a rebate on the Panera mac and cheese so we got two of those and bagels all right the poppies are on rebate but they're clearly like they don't have very many left so we definitely like the new flavors rounding off our trip cucumbers uh, chocolate chips bread yes we have opened those they're on rebate uh, what else do we have we got some hoagie rolls um, eggs, chips, ready to go. I have officially fallen for the night. <laughs> I, uh, man, I was so annoyed. I got home from getting Chelsea to the dentist, or the ortho, and walked in and immediately was bombarded with, can you take me to my friend's house? And I'm like, I just want to shower. I wanted to shower so bad. And, um, and Jason's like, oh, I'll take her. So I was like, ah, oh, thank goodness. So I was able to take a really long, hot shower, middle of the afternoon. I think I started at like 4.30. <laughs> Felt good to not like, because we've, we've run into like the fact to the, that everyone is on the same schedule for taking showers, except for Chelsea. Chelsea takes showers. Oh. There she is. Huh? This one takes showers every day. Yeah. Yeah. But um, like me and Kaylee and Abby, we tend to like go like a day or two in between showering unless I've really like worked out and stuff. I mean, I'll rinse off, but like a full really good long shower, I don't do every day. And so, what was it last night? Everyone had showered and there was like, yeah, I had to sit and wait for hot water. Maybe that wasn't last night, it was the other night anyway. So it was nice to not have to worry about someone having to shower after me, so. Um, got out and made myself some dinner and a good healthy dinner while I'm like Marco Pillowed my sister and um, I've been here no I won't say I've been here ever since um, I gave Jason a haircut so maybe I can hand Chelsea will you take the camera up to dad and have him show you his new haircut when you go up are you going up I'm eating ice cream. you're eating ice cream okay um, Anyway, I got him a haircut and I'm watching, right now I'm watching Deadly Waters. And if you, if any of you have watched, if you're like a reality TV junkie like me and watch Below Deck and you know Captain Lee and you know his last season, he had hip problems and he really struggled with his last season. So they found a new show for him to do and it's called Deadly Waters and he just narrates um, these mysteries and um, deaths at sea totally like you know up his alley kind of a thing so I'm watching that series and it's pretty good so far just watched the first episode and I'm just kind of like enjoying a free night like Ashley was at her friend's house until like nine o'clock tonight it's only 7 45 <laughs> it's nice that I have um, like the parents of Ashley's friends we all recognize the need to like be the one to not have everyone over, but we also recognize it when we can have everyone over. And so we trade off quite often, which is really nice. So they have agreed to keep Ashley till nine o'clock tonight. And then uh, one of Jason and I will go get her. So Abby just got home from work. Kaylee's still gone. I don't, think, I don't know if Kaylee works today or not. She probably does, but anyway, I don't know. I'll, I'll have you check in with Jason and he'll show you his little haircut. Um, I don't have much going on tomorrow. I don't know how much, if at, at all, I'll film. We're going to a friend's um, graduation party. It's at our, our little game group. It's their daughter who's graduated and they're having a little party for her. So we're just gonna combine her party with our game night. <laughs> and we'll just kind of stay and hang out, you know, as late as we're welcome at their house. So. 
that will be in place of game night. But it should be fun, even though it's supposed to, like, be raining thunder and lightning most of the day. Most of the day. It's supposed to be at the lake with them out by their house, but I don't think the weather's going to cooperate. So we'll see. Check in with Jason, see his new little haircut, his little buzz cut that I do, and um, we're going to sign off for the night, and we'll take care. You guys take care. And we'll see you later. I know this is like the most unflattering view of me, but I'm just tired. I don't want to sit up. So take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Night, guys. Hello, hello. Dana wanted me to show you my hair cut. Not really anything different, but just a little shorter, tightened up. She's done a great job. We started doing this uh, during COVID where we learned we've got some razors. I can pretty much do the front, but I can't do the back, so she comes around and cleans up the back. Looks good, I think. Nothing too fancy, not too stylish. That's kind of the way I am. But uh, anyways, oh, bad lighting. Dana want me to wrap up the video, so comment below, hit the little subscribe button, and come back for more. Have a good one.